Okay, now let's start building those objects here. Let's start with the pyramid. We take the rectangle and we search for the square help line here, the diagonal line, and we lock onto this line by holding down the shift button and we create a square, no measurements needed. And then we create two guidelines that give us the center of this square. And then we take the line tool with L and create the top of the pyramid here. And this top is connected to the corners, of course. And now if I want to stay in the line tool, but I want to start a new point, just hit the escape button. So you still have the pencil here. You still have the line tool. You can move to a new endpoint and connect endpoint to endpoint and here as well. And we are deleting this inner line once again with L back to the line tool and closing this pyramid. Now I also delete these two guidelines. And you see that the, py the pyramid is gray, but it should be white because the outer faces should be white. So let's triple click on the object to select everything, right click on it and reverse faces. So now everything is white on the outside and this is our pyramid. Now let's move over to the prism and we have a tool for building the base of the prism and surprise, surprise, it's the circle tool. We have a circle tool here, but then we have this polygon tool here. There's only one difference and I can show you if I select the circle tool, you see it says sides 24, which means that if I create a circle, it's made out of 24 segments, 24 sides that you see here. So you see it's not a perfect circle. It has 24 sides. And if I take the polygon tool, you see that it says sides six. Okay. And now we have this polygon with six sides, but it really doesn't make a difference. You can always go to C for the circle tool and then you can, you can enter the number of sides that you need. So if you wanted to make really a very, very round circle, select or enter 99 and then you have 99 sides, which is the highest number that you can enter in SketchUp. And then you have a very, very round circle with 99 segments or sides. But you can also go to the circle tool and enter three. And then you have a polygon with just three sides. And there's our base of the prism. So let's extrude this thing here. No measurements needed here. Also make a nice prism. And now the prism with five sides. Well, you probably have guessed by now. We can take the circle tool and we are still in the three sided mode, but let's enter five. So you see here it says five now and enter. And now we have five sides. So we can make this pentagon shape and also extrude it. So we have a prism with five sides. I'll take the other prism as a reference. Okay, let's move over to the sphere. And the sphere is a little bit more complicated, but we will get there. So we use the circle tool once again, and you see that I still have this polygon shape with the five sides. So I enter 24 to get a better circle. But actually to get a really, really nice sphere, which is round, which is really round, we have to start with a really good sphere. So hit the C key once again, and then enter 99, because we want to now, we now want to have a circle with 99 sides. And let's open up a circle here in the middle and then go to the center. Now we want to have a circle which is perpendicular to the first one. So we press the arrow key to the left and you see our circle tool now is green and we click on the center and we open up another circle here. We don't need any measurements, just open up a circle. Okay, how can we create a sphere now from those two intersecting circles? Well, we have a tool for this, which is the follow me tool. So you find it here where you find the push and pull tool and the follow me tool always needs a, a face. So now we have the face of the first circle here and it needs a path that this face can follow. So the, our path should be now this other circle here. So let's try this. First, I'm going back to the select tool and I select my path to follow. So I click 
on the first circle here on this outer line of the first circle and then I get the follow me tool and I click once on the face and you see now it has created a sphere. Okay and then one last thing how can we create a segment that looks like a piece of pie? Well we also have here the arc tools and then we have this pie tool. We can define a starting point and then once again a reference line and now we can open up this piece of pi and enter an angle for example let's make it a 45 degree piece of pi and we can extrude this and then we have created this certain this kind of segment here so this was some very basic geometry in sketchup remember that you have 3d text and 2d text and sometimes 3d text is better sometimes 2d text is better and you have the circle tool which lets you create polygons with a number of sides between 3 and 99 and you have the follow me tool that lets you create spheres a perfect sphere and there is much more in the toolbox for example you also have this pi tool which lets you create those shapes here and one last thing we don't need the guidelines anymore so Instead of manually selecting them and deleting them, let's go to display and here this button delete all guidelines and now everything looks very clean again.